you may seem to be Just another little thing in the world you see But the truth is it just means so much to me Oh, I'm gonna wag my tail <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome in a brand new video of Petey Pink Dolphin That's me and Koda Hello? Okay <laughs> Focus Yes, and this is Juni so hello everyone and welcome to this brand new video of PD Pink Dolphin, it's me and I have the questions over here I have my questions, I have my ferret, I have my phone and I have my camera and I'm ready to go My ferret is very lazy today Don't mind him Aww. Hmm? <laughs> God, I'm <like> ferret. <laughs> um, so let's start. This question is from Dreamcatcher, and he, she, they asked me what is the strongest mental shift I've ever experienced? Ah, oh, it's a tough one. I guess my strongest mental shift, I think I can name two of them. The first strongest mental shift I've ever experienced is when I kind of decided who my owner was. Like, I think I've talked about this before. Like, I have this person, he's just a normal person, he identifies as human, and some way I can have this dog feeling where I have this deep, deep, unimaginable respect for him and in that way Ikina became my own like I listen to him I can say no of course but then I feel like guilty like I need to protect him just deep respect and it happens in a really strong mental shift the second strongest mental shift was when I was in Disney World Paris I was just walking down the street over there and I kind of felt like I was. I needed to walk on my four paws, like hands and feet, but like. I, I just felt like this is so strange. Why, why am I walking on two legs? Why, why does it need. Why, why is it this way? Why? And it was really weird. So I felt so wrong. But these are my two strongest mental shifts. Dakota, she, he, they has a second question which is let me read it oh this one is a fun one uh what is the bestest bestest best 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 weirdest reaction i got when i told someone i was a uh, terrian or when someone found out no i got a question i got this in my class actually i told him like i'm this dog being and he said you get more furry every day <laughs> you just said like you get more furry every day not like a furry furry more like hair like I'm getting more hairy every day and yeah I was really feel like I was like um okay I get more furry every day okay so I'm becoming more of a dog every day I don't know it was really fun so third question from Luna Clips what's your opinion on fake theorians oh yes there does exist something called a fake teen or like a booster or someone who wants to be a teen because it's cool, it's weird, it's different than the others. Now, I cannot think two separate things per day because someone who wants to be different kinda has a problem, like if kinda experiences something bad, they, they don't have the best lives or they... Ugh, Something in their life is wrong. The most people who want to be different and want to be cool, they are not cool or they are not different. Or they just kinda needs it to survive. Like 
something to escape from the real world so I cannot think like for them and I want to help them and I will just support them in being a tyrant. We want to help you but then you need to not destroy our worlds too. Okay. Deal? Good. Uh, and the other side I think like Cap Fedicke. Yes, I wish. You're destroying our world for your own sake. Like if you're not just like if you're not a good foot football player don't be someone who pretends to be a good football player because one day one day you will fall and you will only be worse than you was before like in your mental state you can pretend something if you are not it you can pretend it for a week a year maybe but it won't feel right and it will destroy it and it will fall so someone figured out like this isn't right this is not you you like pretending to be because you want to be cool and then people get bad sides on you they will think like oh he's a poser well that kid or maybe you just wanted to be cool mm -hmm. uh, she has another question so luna clips do you care about what people think when I wear my gear, so by example my color or my tail. And no, I do not care and yes, I do care. I do care in the way of like my mother. I do care about others, not about my own, what people think about me, but what people think about others. My mama stated this several times. She is okay with it, but when people stare at me, she is a mother, so they might or they might not think like she's a bad mother or she raised me wrong or I'm ashamed for her like kinda. She's okay with it when she says like be aware of it please. And though I do not care about myself, like in the way of what people think about me. Uh fifth question Do you like donuts? Also from Luna Clips. No. <laughs> I do not like donuts. I do not donuts like donuts. It's kind of weird now because most people like them, but I just don't like the structure, like the soft, squishy duke dog. I don't know what you call it. I will write it down. Uh, I don't like it. So just then, if not, what is your favorite snack? My favorite snack is probably Milky Way, actually. Six. Little Strapman, she asks, what is my biggest damn pet peeve? So what am I annoyed by? People thinking Jam Trophy is a spirituality. It's not. Jam Trophy is not a spirituality, guys. It's not. <sighs> I don't get why people always think like start of spirituality, it's blah blah blah. No, it's not. It's not a belief, not spirituality, not a culture. It's it's an identity guys. It's something you are or you identify as. You feel like you are. In spirituality we will be like separated some kind. Yeah, I can't explain it, but it's not a spirituality, it's the definition is there and trophy is an identity. Second thing, my biggest pet peeve is, pet, pet peeve is, is people talking like they are meditating and seeing their their types, Daniel types, Kim types coming towards them, saying their name. Hey, I'm Aaron. Hey, I'm Blaze. Hey, I'm Midnight. Hey, I'm Luna. Saying their name. You can see them, they walk towards you, they give you guidance. No, 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 no. Because the center is not spirituality, but an identity, you are. Are, 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 animal. That means if it is separa separa separated from you, you are not an animal. So that is not your territory, ter 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 type. It might be a spirit gut, gut, or I don't know, but it's not your third type. Because if you 
I'm meditating. I have the dream shift. You can have this animal thing, but in that case, you don't see it coming towards you. You become it. You are the animal, and you walk as yourself, as the animal, through a forest. You are the animal. So yeah, just please not, 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 not. Seven. Oh, schnitzels. Parks. Park X. Park. I don't know, Barikiks? Barikiks? I, I hope I pronounce it correctly. He, she uh, asks, how did you find out what your first third type is and what is it? Now, first time I found out what my third types are, let's call it that way. Uh, I am a Swiss white shepherd dog, so not a gamma shepherd dog, not the white chipper talk um, and I'm a pink river dolphin so not the pink I think it's called sheena dolphins or just pink dolphin not just a normal dolphin not a bottle do nose dolphin not anything of that so it's a chipper talk and pink river dolphin uh, how did I find out those things the first one like I first knew about that is the Swiss white chipper talk now Yes, how did I find out? Yeah, I kind of didn't find it, I didn't kind of find out, I just was it. It was just really obviously I lost out. Ever since I was little, I drew this white dog lying on carpets in front of a house fire fireplace thing. I always pretended to be this dog with the big white pointy ears and fluffy coats and I was like I played it with my friends, I became it, I, I dreamed about being it. I came that just was it and like later on when I went searching on my Docker behavior and about those things like I went searching on it, I found a trophy and I actually just discovered ah that's my kind of pedic. And the pink river dolphin is something different. When I was younger, I think around my age or something we got those nicknames at my place with a friend. She was the blue monkey and I was the pink dolphin. I don't know exactly how we got those things. When I went to Terrian Gate, I discovered this other Terrian star dolphin, a good friend of mine by now. She is a dolphin, like she is a Cetian Terrian, so she is a Cladotarian, so she's a whole species, not just one animal. And she talked to me, and we kind of got to search the reason why I got that nickname. And we kind of found out I had a lot of traits from the pink dolphin. And ever since then, I have this really strong feeling I am the pink dolphin. Like, I really shift in it, especially when I'm in the water. So, you're sleeping. I'm going to quiet, quit, quit, end this video. Rest your head on my heart Hang your pain on my shoulders Make your way to my arms Cause you got me Woof! Beady!